Hey up troops, A Littleton here again with another video and it's a first for the channel. There's been quite a few comments saying show some gameplay, like it's alright talking about doing this in a video but actually show it in a game. So for this season, start of year 8 season 3, I, I know we've seen it a load of times, like oh solo to champ series and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to put a load of solo queue games up hopefully once a week, ideally on a Monday. Um, just to give an idea of the way I play Siege and if you can't get into the streams, not everyone can. Um, I'm going to try and talk over them as a play and sort of give like a an idea of uh, what I'm thinking at the time or at least try to. Obviously, I have to try and concentrate and lock in sometimes. Uh, but try and give an idea of what I'm thinking as, the, as they're going. So, as I say in the video, this is not ripped from Twitch. This is just me playing, recording and playing a ranked game and trying to talk to you guys on YouTube. It's a bit of a strange feeling, uh, just talking to yourself and trying to think out loud. But fingers crossed it comes across okay and it can help a few of you. Um, but I think that's enough waffling. Let's just get stuck into the game. Starting with the map bans then, I actually don't mind what we play here. Um, they'll probably ban planes. We're banning planes, so that's good. I don't mind what we ban. I don't mind playing any of these really. It's just Bravo. I'm not a massive fan of playing. First map is Nighthawk. What a great map to start on. So, I know I've seen, I've seen a lot of these other videos where it's like, oh, a game of ranked on, on, on YouTube. And this isn't off Twitch. I'm not streaming this on Twitch. It's just me and you, YouTube. I haven't, like, streamed this on Twitch and taken it off there. I'm literally just at home playing a game of rank. There's no chat to talk to. It's just me and you. I don't know why we're banning book. That's wild. So I'm going to try and explain why I do certain things and certain setups. Obviously, I don't win every gunfight. I'm, in fact, mechanically, I'm very, very average. I just like to think I've got an idea of how to give myself a bit more of an advantage other than just winning gunfights. So I'll try and explain things as we go. So bands, we've got Osa, Dockerby. Dockerby's a really common band nowadays. Osa, you don't see as much, but... Um, I reckon this is going to be Valkyrie or Mirror. A zombie, yeah, good choice. You don't see a zombie ban much. Good choice. Um, I think I would probably ban Solus here. Uh, we're defending first. I wouldn't mind playing Solus, actually. I don't mind what we ban. Other team thinks Solus, that's what we'll do then. So what I try and do when I'm picking an operator, and I'm solo queuing here, by the way, I'm going to look at what the rest of the team picks, and then I'll try and pick an operator that fits in that with what we need. So, no, most teams go server command first, don't they? I'm going to see what we've got. We've got a frost. We definitely need some wall denial. Um, and I'm tempted maybe to go mute. We've got area denial with smoke. Um, so, so, Cade's on the board, which is always a good shout. So, possibly Cade, although I can't make rotates with Cade, and I sort of need to make rotates. Swap to Valk from frost. Um... Probably going to have to play Mute here at the last second. And I didn't re... Oh, now he's gone Bandit and Cade. I don't believe it. That is solo queue in a nutshell. I've gone Mute so I can try and make rotates, lines of sight, and put Mute Jammers down to try and do a bit of wall denial. And now we've got fucking wall denial coming out of everywhere. Right, so... My plan here is to try and hold Connector for as long as possible. I'm praying that Bandit doesn't... Bandit, can you come and put two batteries on the Connector wall, please, mate? Where Mute is now. Um, I'm going to hopefully... Bandit comes over. Is he here? Is Bandit? No, he's not here. I don't know what I heard. Although he's done. Um, where Mute is now, mate. On two ping. Like, hello? Yeah, over here. Oh, Andrew, that's poor. Don't worry, I'm going to mute it off. So we get a chance to try out the new shotguns as well. We've got an extra mute jammer because I would normally mute that wall as well, so um, we'll stick the extra mute jammer on this door, so if they do get through the breach, they're not going to be able to just drone into uh, into server. We've got the lines of sight, yeah. It's, hey, side setup, all right. I'd probably put... I should have put the mute jammer here, actually. So my plan here is to hold on to this site for as long as possible. We'll make a little line of sight here so we can see anyone jump in that uh, window. And now we've, uh, let's get started. Any drones out there? Oh, I feel like I can hear someone though. Huge from Lady. Okay, so where's that? That's the other side of the side. See, I sort of need to go and look at that, but at the same time, you can't just run and ignore the parts of the side that you were defending like Cade and Bandit have got that. If Cade and Bandit die, I'll go and have a look. Now we need to, he's got a shotgun as well. Ying shotgun, that's fucking gross. Detonate. 
Oh, we see the Osa there. That wasn't far away. They're on the other side of the site. I'm kind of pinned here. Not in a good spot here at all. Okay, there's one to the, you saw the left hand side of that door, that's the worst C4 I've ever seen. They're gonna start planting that side, I think. Swapping mags. I don't know. No, we've still got Cade that side of the side. And my mute jam has just been destroyed, so they know I'm here now. I can't get to the team, mate. One sounds like he's behind us. Oh, so the last one's behind me as well. I ran to get the res there. I maybe shouldn't have done that. I didn't think they were both behind me. Oh, a nice shot, Cade. Wow. Yeah, so talking about this, I didn't speak a lot then, did I? I tried to, but decision making there, I've, I've ran back to get the res because I think the last person's on the other side of the map because where all the commotion was. I wasn't aware they were both this side, but hey, we take that 1-0. We've got a kill without the team. Setup was good. Team have played really well there. Um, now, in my head, I'm going to try and defend the exosuit stairs. Again, we're going to need wall denial, though, on quite a bit of it because getting this wall open is key. Um... Who has a shield and... Mm, so yeah, we've got, well, we've got a Cade. I'll probably play Bandit, actually. Just to give a bit more on the wall denial. I prefer playing Exosuit stairs here, but we're not going to have that luxury we need to play. Uh, I would like to play the smoke and play Exosuit, but I'm not going to be able to, so... Let's just get the walls done. Uh, and the hatches. Um... Smoke getting the hatch, yeah, okay. I've gone the long way around to the hatch there, but I? I don't really bother with the other hatch that's up there. I don't really bother with that one too much. Right, so always put your bandit batteries wide to start with, because if they throw the EMP in the middle of the wall... I know I've said this on a load of videos, but if they throw the EMP in the middle of the wall here, the EMP radius is only, like, this wide, and it won't get the battery. So is Cade... is Cade... Cade off this wall? Okay, so Cade's done that with a Cade floor down there. So I'll probably try and bandit trick this. Um, we need a line of sight along here. Probably try and bandit trick this if I can, but if like they bring Maverick or they, all this floor above soft, I mean, hello. One really... Mm -hmm. AC on both sides. One. Right, so the breach is open. I can sort of backtrack now and go back to exosuit stairs. We tried to bandit trip. We got a kill. Don't know who we killed, but now we can play here. Breach is open. I don't know. It is fully open on the right hand side. We got a twitch, I assume. Loading there, mate. Last someone shot that. So they've seen me here. Because they know I'm here, I can... What will people do now is just try and peek. But you can just sort of be a bit of an annoyance here. Like, they know that you're here. They can't really... Say again, sorry. I think there's one above us. Okay, no problem. Uh, there's a cam. Hang on, I'll check. So we've got the default cam on the hatch. Yeah, yeah there's... I can't... See, they might be on the stairs, but they're not above the stairs. Oh, no, he's just died there. So who we killed wasn't Ace. Okay, he said Breach. Good call. So we don't need to hold an aggressive angle here, right? Like, we can sort of hold a softer angle. I'll just check the cam above me quickly. No one's coming. Sounds like they're in the Breach, maybe? Not happy with my position here, frankly. What's Cap can I can hear moving? Wish we had some info on the breach. Is he in the breach though? It's difficult here because someone is above me now. Oh, it's Cap Cap. 
Maybe they're on the other side by that one thing. Me, I've got to peek this whole angle and face my whole body that way. Which I don't really want to do. I can hear one on the breach, I think. He's tucked in left there. I might die to the Capcan trap here. He's close to me. He's right next to Bandit. 15 seconds left. Time expired. 10 seconds. Four nice. Eliminated. Good job. So that there is a classic example of just not needing to put your head in the door. Right? I know it's a bit it's a bit ratty and it's a little bit like, oh, it's not really the best way of playing. It's not flashy. It's not showy. But that's one around. Yes, if I'd have died there, it's 2v1, not long left. We'd probably still win. Um... But I, I'm happy with what's happened there, frankly. <laughs> Call me what you want. Right, now we're getting on the strat that you want to be playing on Cafe Kitchen on Night Haven Lab. So as far as the ground's going, it's going all right in it. I've, hopefully, I've tried to explain sort of a little bit about what I'm trying to do. And it's hard to do that and focus playing at the same time. But hopefully, I'm getting it a little bit across. And what I'll try and do as well is incorporate a few of the setups that we talked about on the most recent videos, like the... You know, like the mute setup we did upstairs on Night Haven, that's on a, a recent mute video. If we get a map where we can do some castle setups, obviously we'll do that as well. Um, oh, me and Newcastle absolutely in line with the way we're thinking. Unbelievable. There's a drone somewhere. Oh, I haven't got the bearing on to chunk it. There's a drone by you, Capcom. Uh, I'll open this hatch because I can drop down if I need to. And then I'm going to play the shield here on the stairs. Like this. It means you can just take cover from all of the stairs. You can peek over the shield like this if you want to. Not mad keen on that castle, but we'll take it. Um, are you running out to get the hatch, Frost? That would be ideal. Oh, uh, What a team. What a team. We have just got to watch the stairs. I mean, that's a bit of a weird prox mine, to be honest with you. Just got to watch the stairs a little bit. Um, but our plan here is just to hold this. And then what we'll do later on in the round, if we can, is we'll try and make a bit of a row. In fact, I'm going to make that now, just so we don't have to try and do it later in the round. So now we can get through here if we need to. Castle's castled it off, so it's no problem. Nearly died to that window. That'd have been embarrassing. Let's jump on that default cam quickly, see what they're saying. Someone is possibly rushing that window. Someone is there. Don't need to repeat that. Probably going to get naded because it's Iona, so move away. Just try and listen. There's the nade. Try and listen if they jump in. Castle swinging. Oh, nice shot, Castle. Get in the hatch. So Castle's got that kill. We can ignore that now. He's even castled the hatch. What a world we live in. Now, the beauty of playing this is if they do drop here, we can drop fire in there. Possibly dropped hatch. Can't tell. Wrong button. In the hatch. So I think they've gone six. Hey? Not sure if they've dropped that hatch or not. Have they dropped the hatch? No. Sense in sight, I'm seeing here. Alright, well, we've got a rotate for us. Nice. Sensors inside by all accounts. Diffuser on me up top. Okay, nice. That sensor's gun going off over there. Is this castle? No. Yeah, sensors inside somewhere. So I'm pretty clear everywhere apart from this door. Like, I don't think you can get an angle on me from this, like, this wall that I've opened. Capcan says he's got the diffuser up top. Capcan's firing. Does that tell me he's in a fight? If he is in a fight, I probably want to... On these stairs? Okay, cool. And we'll reposition now. Come on, get out. Hello? Reloading. He's on these stairs. There's a decent position I can take just here. 
unfriendly see where he pushes from. Yeah, he's yeah, gonna yeah, drop hot. Bit close there. I mean, I did cover the only, I did pre fire the only angle he could kill me from there. Um, no, I wanted to try and get up to you, mate, but I couldn't really get across the map. If I had it taken me like 30 seconds to go the long way around, hey, we won it, mate. That's all that matters. So now my plan is to show you something that I always do on this map um, where I open connector and then go and open the main breach. So in my head, before I've picked my operator, and I said this on that top five mistakes that people do, is they'll pick an operator operator, and then try and shoehorn a plan to that operator. I'm thinking of what I want to do first. I've thought of the plan. I know what walls I want to open, what lines of sight I want to make, and I think the best person to do that is Ace. Second best person to do that, which sounds daft, is probably Capitao. Um, and I'm tempted to change the cat uh, Capitao if we are. Oh, no, we haven't got another breacher. So I've got to stick with Ace. Big hype from the team. Big let's go. Mate, what, what a video. What a team. If anyone on this team watches this video, love you guys. So we're going to pre-place a drone. Oh, nearly didn't. Pre-place a drone where we plan on entering the map from roughly. Now, this drone is really good. One, because you can see who's going to be around this door if anyone's peeking it at the start of the round. And two, because you can see the spawn peak from meeting window there. So it's pretty well hidden as well. It rarely gets spotted. There's a default cam above us. Just... Somewhere here. No, oh, there, sorry. That wasn't very good, was it? Um, so this drone's going to give us a decent bit of info for the side of the map that we're coming from. So I'll destroy the two default cams outside first. Always destroy default cams. Don't be that person that doesn't destroy default cams. So we'll just throw a drone up again to be safe. I don't mind spending an extra five seconds to make sure no one's peeking this wall. Sometimes this wall isn't reinforced like this, and you can see that no, some, like you can see there'd be a punch hole there. Obviously, there's not one there now, so we're okay. That cam's already gone. Only half that wall's reinforced, which is interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the side that's reinforced and then open a line of sight at the top on the other side. I've got a banner, actually. I didn't notice that banner, but... So we've opened connect. We're going out the lads open the main breach now. Uh... Hopefully that doesn't get bandit tricked. Ooh, Havana's down. Not ideal. Ah, oh, I've missed that cap gun by seconds. However, this is why we make this line of sight. This line of sight is going to prove, prove really worthwhile now. The one at the top. Oh my god. I called it! That's why you make the one at the top, right? Because you have people that head glitch this box. So by doing that, um, it means they can't. So I'm just going to get a drone out there quickly now. It's not been the most eventful game from us, but I mean, it's been a great team game. It's an electrical. Last one's electrical. You're coming to him now, Jackal. We'll play team. So, look, that wasn't the most interesting game, I suppose. You know, it's not a 5 4 thriller. It's a bit of ranked. It'll do for the first game of the solo to diamond series we're doing this season. I'm just seeing the dog come in. Let's get the dog. Ugh. This is Neville. He's absolutely over the moon that we've just won a game. So, yeah, thank you to BXS, Lady378, Hokusai, and Hendo Smash. Some, uh, some good calls by the team. And um, let's just swap over to this. There we go. I feel like I'm streaming, but I'm not streaming. It's just me and you, YouTube. It's weird. Um, so, yeah, good game. Hopefully, I explained a little bit. That'll be the first one, and fingers crossed. We'll see how far through the season we can get on this account. High five, Nev. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Cheers.